Okay, hopefully the lighting's good enough. Uh, so we're getting ready to introduce and split a colony and add a couple of queens, ordered a couple of queens from the club. And so we're picking up tomorrow, so we want to separate the bees to give them overnight and then introduce the queens tomorrow. So several hours ago, we got into this colony and pulled out two frames of brood. As you can see, there's a queen excluder right here. So even though we have supers, we put a deep up on top of the supers and put the two brood frames in there. And the, the smell of the brood, the, the nurse bees will come up and get on. So then once, once they're like that, then we can transfer them into the box where we'll be introducing the queens tomorrow. All right, so this is what this is what the box looks like. So with the the two bees, and obviously there's a lot of sorry, the two frames of brood, and obviously all the bees have come up, and most of them are nurse bees, and there's no chance of the queen being up here. So we're going to take them out and uh, and then transfer them to the new box. So this is the destination of the two frames. So. It's a six frame nuke that's split in half, so, and it's in styrofoam to keep them nice and warm when they're just getting initiated. And it's a little chilly tonight. Ordinarily, we would do this on a warmer night, but um, has one frame of honey and resources and uh, one empty frame, and then the frame of brood we're gonna put in with the bees. So we will take this uh, frame of bees and brood and drop them in the slot. I see something in the bottom of that. I don't know what it is. Nice and slow. It's always that last little bit that's always kind of hard. Ugh. Got my fingers, they didn't like that. So I'm gonna tuck those together a little bit. All right, getting used to it. I'll go get the other one for the other side. All right, here's the other frame of brood. Put it in. Did that one a little bit better. It's kind of hard to do with the gloves on, but you know, I'm pretty clumsy, so I get stung if I don't wear the gloves, and I get tired of getting stung. So we're all done. Put the lid on, and then tomorrow morning. We'll get the queens and introduce them, and they should be ready for them. That's it for tonight. Okay, so we uh, we picked the queens up this morning. They're in a cage. Um, we brought them home in this dark box, so they've been sitting in there. And we're now going to introduce them to the split colonies that we separated 24 hours ago. What we do is we put them in the cage and we see how the bees react to them over the next several days. Put them in the hive. Yeah, put them in the hive, yeah. Sorry, did I say cave? Sorry. Put them in the hive and see how the bees react to them. If they don't react to them well, it could indicate that they've already started creating a, a queen cell and so they're rejecting it. So then what we would do after four days is go in and look for queen cells, destroy those, and then within 24 hours they should be good because by then any eggs that might have been in in the brood um, would, will be too big to make into queens. We, we didn't carefully check to make sure we had no eggs, so there's that possibility. So if we open up the box, um, the queens are in here, cages, plus a few um, attendees. They swarm 
or they, they assemble next to the queen. They're trying to feed her and everything else. And I wish you could hear the sounds, but um, the queen chirps. And so, there's a little noise right there. I don't see her in there. I probably have to... Yeah, probably have... And so then there's two ends. They have a cork. And one end has a candy in it. So you take the cork out and they eat through the candy. So, um, we're going to put it in the cage right now. I don't know if we're going to have enough room, but what we want to try to do is squeeze it in right next to, yeah, there's not enough room. Um, so, um, we'll have to squeeze her in this way, probably in the middle. Ideally, you want her to have room so the bees can surround her. And so there's some room on the other, other side. You can see the bees are kind of reacting already. I'm going to go grab the other one. You know what? I want to, I want to double check to make sure. Thing I did. Good thing I did because um, I want. No, nope, I have that in there right. So up here, there it's kind of closed off. So I wanted the open side down. So at least on this empty frame next to her, they could get to her and smell her. All right. So these bees are. Let it know, be known they're not liking getting bothered with, so I, I'm going to put this up against. And so this is so they can get all the smell of the queen, see what they do to her. Um, and then we'll just let them sit for four days. And next time they should be a lot more calm because um, they have a queen now. Without a queen, it tends to ag agitate them. So we'll, we'll take the next segment in four days and see how they're doing. <laughs>